Okay, gentlemen, there's both another rules. The pay may come on to all times, touch gloves, God bless. Well, this could be a lively one, this. Like I say, John Cooney, extremely confident. Sure of himself, sure of his boxing ability. His know-how unbeaten against, like I said, a tough Liam Gaynor. Barry, this could be tasty. No, yeah, it could. I think it's a real, you know, a real test here for Cooney on paper, but he started off really fast, aggressive, nice sharp as well with the, with the shots. And really trying to punch through the target here, Cooney. Yeah, hearing him speak throughout the week, he was saying I've heard Eddie Hearn talking about exciting and looking good, and that's exactly what I'm looking to do. It's a nice, fan friendly style. Positive start, Shannon. Yeah, it's good. He's leading with that jab and he's bringing that right hand through, which is nice. He's taking it to the body, which is giving the variation. Um, but it's, it would be nice to see if, as the round carries on, he'll take that jab, turn it into a hook. I think that would be quite nice and uh, would work well. Yeah, just fencing with their lead hands at the minute. It usually happens when an orthodox fights a southpaw. Cooney just looking at that left hand. You see that? Oh, uh, it's oh, a lovely left hand. We've seen two tremendous left hands. That was a lovely shot from Cooney. Right on the point of the chin. They're usually tough. Gainer dropped heavily. Up what a shot there. that was. Yeah, he got too early there, Gainer. Cooney's got to jump all over him now. Stabbing that left to the body. Looking for the hooks. Downstairs, upstairs. There's a nice little right hook. Catch him with another right hook from Cooney. The referee jumps in and he waves it off. What a result, what a victory for John Cooney. He said he was going to bring the action, he was going to bring the fire, and that's exactly what he's done. What a shot, what a victory, Barry. Something in the air tonight, isn't it? Literally, you know, Cooney's not known as a, as a huge puncher, but again, it's not, it's not about the power, it's the timing of the shot. So the lovely left hand, you push it back with the, with the right hand, made space, to the left hand right through the middle, and had, 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 you know, gaining all sorts of trouble. Gainer got up too fast. But the finish there from Cooney was impressive because he, he, he jumped at him straight away. He didn't rush his work. He picked his shots. He worked to the body as well. But you could, there was a point there, you know, oh, just, just for the after he stopped it, where Gainer's legs dipped. And he, and he bravely brought himself back up before he went on the floor. And the referee still seen enough by that point and rightly stepped in. Shannon, talk us through the shot. No, I was about to say that the same energy that he brought to the weigh-in, he brought to the ring. And sometimes we don't always see that. Um, but I thought that was brilliant. Like you said, he was fenced in with that front hand. I would have liked to see a hook over the top, but he managed to get the job done and it's finished now. You see here, look at that, look at this timing, lovely. He almost did fake a hook, if anything. So he fainted the hook there and then just literally committed with that left hand right through the middle of the guard. And this, I think this is the follow-up here. Oh, that's a great shot. Look, see the legs dip there, he, he stay, gain is so brave, he stays up. But that was enough for the referee to see that. Listen, he's just taking punishment here, kid. And when he finished it, what was nice is that he didn't smother his work. I feel like we see that with a few fighters where they've got the knockout and they finish it, but they sometimes smother the work. Oh yeah, that right hook was dangerous when that one. He done well, the knees dip, but he stayed on his feet. And we see Cooney lean over the ropes, talking to Eddie Hearn. I bet it was something along the lines of, where's the contract? Let, show me a contract. You can see what it means to the young man over the moon. Tremendous victory that was. And he will definitely be eager, itching to get back out there. What a result for John Cooney. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Paul McCullough calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute, 29 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by TKO and the new Celtic Super Featherweight Champion, John the Kid Cooney. Yeah. The respect shown, as we like to see, and we usually do see, but the belt around the new champion, John Cooney. What a shot that was. What a way to, to go into double figures as a professional. Now 10-0. It really was a, a special shot, Barry. Yeah, and you know what? Picking up your first title is always a big thing, isn't it? But doing it in an impressive fashion like that, you know, that gives you the momentum you need, certainly. You know, and I go back to saying what Eddie Hearn always goes on about every show. No, you've got to show why I should put you on the neck 